Inside Australia's 3D printed hemp houses. The world is running out of sand. That may not sound like it is even possible, but it's as accurate as it can get. We all know that sand and cement are the ingredients for the buildings in modern life. We're talking bridges, houses, buildings and whatnot. It does appear that sand is a bottomless resource, but that is as far from the truth as possible. The reality is that more sand is being collected from riverbeds, beaches and seashores than it was ever collected in the history of mankind. For billions of years, sand has existed as a seemingly endless resource, but it turns out that we have been using it so much that it's turned into a crisis now. Before we talk more about our sand crisis, could we possibly build structures without depending on sand? The answer lies in something called hemp. The company behind the hemp houses in Australia is called Mareco. The kind of technology they're using to construct houses is as futuristic as it gets. Let's take out a few moments to understand why this approach solves a huge crisis that is overcoming our planet at this point. Let me start by asking you a question. Which natural resource do you think we consume the most? Water, obviously. But what is the second most consumed natural resource on our planet? Sand. That's right. We use it to build bridges, buildings, houses, and basically everything that you can think of in the modern world. The demand for sand continues to rise as it's an important ingredient for construction, which is used by mixing it with cement. Most of you must already be familiar with the concept. But why are we talking about this? It can be argued that there are deserts out there in the world full of heavenly amounts of sand. While that is true, you may be surprised to know that we cannot exactly use it to build anything. If you're wondering why, it's because sand in the deserts is only in contact with air, which makes it round and smooth. As a result, it won't stick together to produce a strong material. It's only the sands on the beaches, besides the rivers, and on seabeds that we actually like. It's because that sand is eroded by water and has a rougher shape and structure. As a result, it sticks together as perfectly as you can imagine, making an incredibly strong material. In fact, we even need sand to build silicon chips. Having said all of that, where does that put us now? To be able to look away from sand and continue building what we build, we could consider hemp as a revolutionary material. Hemp is basically a carbon-neutral material that actually absorbs carbon dioxide out of the environment. So not only is it adding zero problems to your surroundings, you'd actually be helping by taking in excess CO2 that would otherwise be in the air. That's just one reason why hemp houses are attractive. Having been under planning for years, hemp houses are continuing to become popular across the world, especially in Australia. Let's take a walk through the unimaginable benefits and luxury that we can now turn into a reality using this material. It won't be wrong to say that this is the future of housing and construction itself. Don't believe me? Have a look for yourself. The fact that the world may be running out of sand will not be enough to convince everyone to take some interest in hemp houses. Forget about all the good it brings to the environment. Let's get selfish for a second. Compared to concrete, your house would be seven times stronger if constructed with hemp. That's right, seven times. The strength of a concrete building is rarely tested by nature, but it can definitely happen. Earthquakes can most definitely take those buildings down. Well, not the hemp houses in Australia. Forget about strength, let's get even more creative. Hemp as a construction material is three times more elastic than concrete. So while our hands are tied when dealing with bricks and cement, we can get as creative as we want with hemp. One doesn't have to build their houses in the conventional shapes. With hemp, you can go for shapes that would never be possible with cement. Of course, there's a limit to how creative you can get when you're using bricks, but if you're actually 3D printing your house, there are no limits to creativity. This is exactly why you will see many unusual shapes and sizes of houses like these. It really gets better the more you get to know about it. When we're building conventional houses, how long would you say it takes to build one? Nearly a year, if not more than a year, depending on a lot of different circumstances? But that's just not the time it takes to 3D print a hemp house, that's for sure. While 3D printing these hemp panels is a matter of minutes to hours, it's the process of putting these together that takes up some time but you can very well expect your house to be ready within as little as two days. No matter how complex, huge, or slow the process is, it's not going to take more than a couple of weeks to get your house ready. The point is, is that if we can forego the need for sand for our construction purposes, we can do our environment a huge favor. Countries like Vietnam are already facing huge shortages of sand, as a result of which erosion is becoming a huge problem. It's only an added benefit that the material in question is better than cement in every way imaginable. 
One major benefit of hemp, which was not previously discussed, is its thermal properties. In the summers, when it's boiling outside, hemp structures will keep the house cool. It would actually keep the temperatures remarkably comfortable, which cannot ever be achieved with traditional construction unless we are using air conditioning, of course. Similarly, when all you crave is some warmth in the winters, hemp will keep your house warm. These unique properties of this material that can regulate temperatures are simply out of this world. In some of these 3D printed hemp houses, they've actually shown refrigerators are totally different from anything you would have ever seen. There's an entire tiny room designated as a refrigerator with a small air conditioner attached to starters. The room keeps the temperature low automatically and naturally. The air conditioner only turns on when it's needed, and that too, for short periods of time. Having an entire house built with this concept will not only make you environmentally friendlier, but will also let you achieve levels of comfort and leisure that you may have never experienced before. If you think we've already gone through all the upsides of this concept, well, you are wrong. Let's talk about solar glass for a second. So, if you have a look at these houses, you'll notice large windows that allow for lots of sunlight and bright rooms. But there's something that is not visible on the surface. You may be surprised to know that these windows are actually generating electricity. That's right, this is possible by applying groundbreaking glazing innovations, which were developed by Australia's Clearview Technologies. To this, we add yet another dimension to Mareko's dwellings, the Mareko Hemp Building Facade System. Okay, so this system will basically incorporate Clearview's clear patented and energy charging glass that will literally transform UV light into electricity. This is about as futuristic as it gets. Mareko conducts most of its branding by focusing on the environmental impact of its work. They make sure that the consumers know how exactly they're helping the environment by using their approach to housing. To make matters even more interesting, 3D printing these houses is actually much cheaper than you think. Prices can range anywhere between $4,000 to $10,000, depending on the required amount of work. The only reason why we don't see this technology spreading like wildfire is that it's still new. Inhabitants of these houses are already moving into their new homes. This is something that is getting more and more popular with each passing day. As time passes, it won't be surprising if they can build equally impressive structures at even smaller costs. This will essentially allow economically disadvantaged people to access this technology as well. With that, we will bring this video to an end. If you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to our channel for similar content in the future. Let us know what your thoughts are about these 3D printed hemp houses in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.